Welcome back guys to the Catapult Wealth Investment Interview Series. Today we've got David Bassanese, he's the Chief Economist at BetaShares. David has a degree from Harvard University and has had various economic advisory roles in government and non-government. David, thank you very much for being on the show. Good to be with you, Tim. You're a, you're a local Adelaide boy, aren't you? I am, yes. I uh, did uh, my economics training at Adelaide University many years ago. Um, I won't say how many years ago, but um, <laughs> but but uh, no, it's always good to get back here to Adelaide and you know, catch up with my family here and um, see how the city's progressing and changing and always changing a little bit. So yeah, it's good. Excellent. Um, David, we're seeing a lot in the news, um, the word recession come up, uh, we're seeing you know, worries about economic growth slowing down, but there's also some positive indicators, as well as a lot of the governments um, rolling out some stimulus. Yeah. At the moment, are you a bull or a bear? Look, I, you know, it's a cliche, but I'm cautiously optimistic, like I'm probably more bu bullish than bearish. Uh, and one of the reasons, I think one of the principal drivers of the economic weakness at the moment is the uncertainty of the trade wars between US and China. Um, and that's been ongoing and starting to weaken business sentiment a lot and, and actually starting to have an impact on the US economy. And so funnily enough, that negative impact now that we're seeing on the economy could be the one thing that causes Donald Trump to sort of soften his position, soften his hardline stance and maybe accept a trade deal with China uh, somewhat less all-encompassing than what he ideally liked but probably nonetheless something that you know at least will make this a more neutral issue for financial markets. Uh, and reduce the risk of the US recession. So I think you know, people can argue about, you know, Donald Trump, and I don't think he's crazy enough to risk a US recession for the sake of long-term trade reform uh, in China. So, the, uh, so I, I am hopeful that they will now finally do a deal, at least a temporary deal, or something that can uh, neutralise markets for the, uh, for over, you know, over 2020 leading up to the next election. Outside of the trade wars, global growth is actually doing quite well. Inflation is, is quite low. Central banks can afford to remain quite accommodative in their policy. I mean, that is still the big positive in the global economy. Inflation low, central banks can remain accommodative. It's only when you see a real pickup in inflation and central banks starting to aggressively tighten rates, you start to worry about the end of the cycle. And again, I don't think we're there yet. The one thing that we could do is the trade wars, and hopefully that won't be the negative. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you very much, David. We'll catch you next time.